All righty. So I will hey, start. Christine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am getting it. I'm figuring it out. I know. All right. Can you see it? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. So we are going to start. Um, Play by the rules. <laughs> oh, I just don't understand people, but. Uh. So I am trying to figure all this out and I think <laughs> I got everything together. Um, so we will save questions for the end. Um, make sure you have a pen and paper so you can write those down, please. And um, Oh, goodness. All right. So welcome to our introduction to CBD. Um, I'm so glad that you decided to join us tonight. Um, it's going to be very informative. Um, seems like CBD is everywhere and um, everyone wants it and social media is talking about it. Um, so um, we're going to just get together and talk a little bit about the history, um, why you want CBD, um, and um, the truth on it, and how we can incorporate it into our everyday lives. Um, give me one second. I'm... Hey, Brittany. Yes. Do you mind to just double check that um, Alicia's video is spotlighted? I will check. I did it before we started, but right. I didn't know that it did. There okay. you go. Thank you. Yes. I believe it is now. Okay, great. So, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany Thelwyn, and I have been with Young Living for seven years. Um, I married my church sweetheart, Josiah, and we've been married 19 years um, next month, and we have eight awesome kiddos, um, and we love our oils. We love spending time together, and they um, will grab their book, an oil book, if they need it, and um, just dive in with both feet and how to use oils. So I'm getting some background. Hold on. I want to see where that sound is coming from. That's I think it's Kathleen. <coughs> okay. I'm not seeing, okay, there we go. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, so we will get going to the second slide. So is CBD marijuana? No. Um, that's one of the common misconceptions about um, CBD and marijuana. So I'm excited to share that the properties of CBD and how it works and to dispel those misconceptions, okay? So a common misconception is CBD only comes from one type of cannabis plant, marijuana. It does not. It, CBD is found throughout the stalks, the flowers, the stems, the leaves, and the seed of both hemp and marijuana. Although CBD and marijuana come from the same plant species known as cannabis sativa or hemp, they are cultivated and used very differently. 
Um, cannabis sativa, am I saying that? I think I'm saying it right. If not, nobody's gonna know really, okay. Um, there's over a hundred cannabinoids, or cannabinoids, yeah. The active constituents in cannabis, and the scientists have discovered it, have discovered this so far. While researchers have identified many cannabinoids, they have primarily focused on studying how CBD and THC influences the body systems. And many studies have explored CBD oil and the effects and then CBD oil and the benefits. And we're gonna talk about some of that today. Um, what distinguishes CBD oil from pot are these two cannabinoids. So um, THC, we're gonna talk about that and CBD and then I need to move. So what is a cannabinoid? Cannabinoid? I never say that right. With the rise in the popular CBD and everything from vape juice to lattes, I think that's so strange. Who would want CBD in their latte? <laughs> Many people are asking, what is CBD oil? The answer to that is, well, CBD stands for cannibal, cannibal, I cannot, Krista, can you help me? <laughs> cannabidiol. <laughs> cannabidiol, good grief. See? <laughs> Science is not my thing. I told mom that her and Krista should have been doing this. Cannabidiol, and I'm sure I'm going to butcher that again. So if grammar is your thing, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, CB stands for cannabidiol, the second most prevalent of the active ingredients of cannabis. While CBD is an essential component of marijuana, CBD is derived directly from the hemp plant, which is a cousin to the marijuana plant. So what makes CBD from hemp unique is the therapeutic properties that interact with the <laughs> endo, can <laughs> can avoid system? <laughs> yeah, see, told you. Specifically, the CBD one or the CB one and the CB two receptors. We'll talk about that in a little bit, and hopefully, I'm not teaching on that because I don't do it justice. So. CBD versus THC. Let's discuss the two a little bit more. THC is the most famous of, see, I knew I was gonna forget it. Cannabinoids. Cannabinoids. <sighs> For the ability to get high. So all that to say is you're not gonna with ours. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it real simple. <laughs> you're not gonna get the high um, because we don't have the THC. So the most, so when you get high, you are, you, you get relaxed, mellow, um mellow not mellow mellow and you can also get the munchies and all that with the cbd um that delivers a mental and a physical benefits without the paranoia and the couch potato um 
it does, I feel I get a calmness over my, myself, but it's not the same uh, couch potato -y that you would get with the high of THC. Um, CBD is legal in all 50 states where THC is only legal in four states. So, oops, let's go back one because that's not quite yet. Um, hemp is cultivated for many other uses besides CBD, like textiles, animal feed, fuel, and much more. Um, the cannabis stevia or whatever that is, also known as marijuana, um, is grown for the high, the THC levels, um, and that's known, that's more recreational or medicinal drug. Um, we'll have, we'll have slides with the information that you can go look things up later. CBD brings balance to the body with virtually no side effects. Um, the, the THC usually brings paranoia, anxiety, uh, munchies, like I mentioned earlier, um, and it can be very addictive and unpredictable. Um, whereas, like I said, the CBD doesn't have any side effects. Um, and it also creates a beautiful homeostasis in the body and um, brings optimal health to you. So, I'm gonna pass this on to my mother, Cora Lee. Hello, my turn, huh? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the endocannabinoid system, which um, it's kind of fascinating, even though they have been studying hemp for years, it wasn't actually until the 1990s that the, that the endocannabinoid system was discovered, and it was discovered in uh, Israel by a doctor at the Hebrew University. Um, and the endocannabinoid system is a network of cells throughout our body that has receptors for the CBD. And so kind of think of it, this is the way I think about it, how um, our body has uh, like neurotransmitters and receptors and all of our cells need, um, I always think about calcium. In order for your muscles to work right, they have to um, go through channels to get together, you know, like they're attracted, like a lock and key. And so that's kind of how this system works as well with um, neurotransmitters. And there are more receptors for CBD in the body than there are for any other receptors. They're found throughout your brain, your organs, your connective tissue, um, everywhere, your glands, your immune system, basically everywhere. Your body is actually full of um the receptors and he this doctor it his name is like um meculum that discovered this system he discovered that we actually can make our own cannabinoids and the two that we can make and again the, these words are like this long i was thinking back to nursing school when i was trying to study these words but it's an 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 anamide, <laughs> an anamide or an animid and the other one is just called 2ag or actually if you look up the word and trust me i did get on and try to figure out how to pronounce these words online it's era shadinol glycerol or something such but everybody just calls it 2AG and um, these are the cannabinoids that mo are mostly in this system or work with this system to create like 
um, when we meditate, we make them. When um, it's also known as um, the bliss molecule or the bliss hormone, when you're meditating or you're praying or you're in a sense of calm. Also, when a mother is nursing her baby, so in her breast milk, she actually creates or produces the 2-AG. And you know, like after a baby's eaten, it gets like that, we call it a milk coma, or the baby's in a milk coma. So that's actually what's happened, is the mother's breast milk has produced this cannabinoid, the 2-AG, so the baby is calm and, and collected. So um, it just goes to show you how we always say, oh, meditation is good for us, or praying is good for us, or, you know, yoga is good for you, or say, you know, you get my point, like if you are a jogger, which I am not, trust me when I say that, but <laughs> I know my husband used to run, and the man was nuts, he would run like five to ten miles a day sometimes, I'd be like, what, are you crazy, and he's like, well, I just like how it makes me feel, well, studying for this, I realize why, because when you do that, then your body, you get that runner's high, everybody's heard of that runner's high, so that's what's happening. Your body is actually creating the cannabinoids that make you feel good. So, but without the bad part of THC, which can have, you know, the bad side effects. Um, so it, it, the cannabinoids can, my point is that the good ones can be very calming too. Um, without all the stuff that can go with the bad ones. And not only that, but the good cannabinoids have a positive influence on our immune system, our gut health, which we know is part of our immune system, our central nervous system, the, our hormone balance, our metabolism, and as well as the health of our connective tissues and bones and muscles and everything. So time for the next slide, I think. Yep. There we go. So um, we're going to break down the word endocannabinoid. So endo just means that it naturally occurs inside of our body. And then we learned that the cannabinoids are the two natural and cannabis-based compounds within the bodies that work together. Then, And the whole point is they're trying to achieve balance. As we know, that's what our body is always doing anyway with homeostasis is it wants, our body wants homeostasis. And these cannabinoids um, are trying to work with our body to um, create homeostasis. So CBD primarily interacts with our body's endocannabinoid system, or ECS, and um, it can actually help regulate our appetite, mood, pain, memory, peripheral nervous system, and more. And like I said, it's absolutely, it's found everywhere. Um, and our bodies are naturally designed to interact with CBD and other natural occurring cannabinoid compounds throughout the body. And somewhere else in my research, I discovered there's actually like over 100 cannabinoids. So it, it isn't like it's anything new. Okay, Britt. All right. So let's talk a little bit. Um, wait a second. Oh, I, I missed something. So I thought I better tell you about, sorry. <laughs> when I was talking about homeostasis, I like skipped um, a whole a whole section that's kind of important that you should know about. So um, hemp was used historically, like for years, like we said, for 
you know, centuries, centuries and centuries, thousands of years it's been used. As a matter of fact, during the revolution, Nary War, um, during that time period, you were mandated to grow hemp. And um, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, they all grew it because it was used for everything. The people used it for their clothes, they used it to eat, they made rope. Anything that you can think of, the plant was used for, but it also had the natural uses of um, helping our systems. So since um, they're, they're coming up with this theory, and it's a relatively new theory, that supplementing the body with plant-based cannabinoids such as CBD could possibly be beneficial for addressing the nutritional deficiency. That has probably occurred because like I said, 200 years ago, they used it in everything and all the time. And since it's been mandated um, or regulated by the government for so long, um, you know, because you couldn't even, in the 1930s is when it became prohibited by the government, which eliminated hemp from our diet, which can contribute to the cannabinoid deficiency issues. So adding CBD into your daily routine, the theory is suggesting could augment the body's own cannabinoids and help the endocannabinoid system effectively become balanced in the body again. So if you think about it, you know, up until the 1930s, hemp seeds, which you can get hemp again, hemp seeds again, um, were everybody, it was just a staple, everybody used it. And then in the 1930s, they started regulating the hemp plant due to THC and marijuana and this and that. And then at that time is when we've probably become deficient because of that. So, okay, Brett, sorry. So the cannabinoid um, receptors, there's CB1 and CB2, those receptors. And um, as you can see, they are responsible for um, like the CB1 receptors, work on certain systems in the body and then the CB2 receptors within the endocannabinoid system are responsible for how it affects these. So these locations um, are what is being worked on by the certain receptors, which I just find absolutely fascinating that the CB1 is going to affect your um, motor sensory and your thinking, your appetite, your short-term memory, those kind of things, your immune system, your immune cells. And then two is going to be effective to your gut, kidneys, pancreas, adipose tissue, respiratory, cardiovascular system. So you can just see how important they are for all the systems of the body. And again, our body wants homeostasis, like I said, so it's going to be working toward trying to um, achieve that. The body systems all want balance within each other through um, their pivot points of trying to create homeostasis. And we, we know poor diet choices, um, too many medicines, stress, and we all have stress. We know about that for sure. Um, lack of sleep, toxic exposure, negative emotions, those all act, you know, if you think about when you're looking at a mobile, because these are like mobiles, and that's kind of like our, our bodies. So when we are, you know, looking at all the things that stress our bodies, we need to be concentrating on trying to achieve homeostasis and staying away from those things. 
but CBD can work with your in, endocannabinoid system to help bind the CB1 and 2 receptor sites to create balance, which that homeostasis, because it can counterbalance the negatives on um, the opposite side. You know, if we're eating a poor diet, that's going to affect our digestive and immune system. But when you're um, adding CBD oil to it, then it can just help balance out the digestive and endocrine and immune system. So that's one of the points they're trying to make because we are so deficient in those areas, CBD, once we bring that back in um, balance with CBD oil, it can help. So you're up, Krista. All right. So um, when it comes to CBD, um, not all CBD is created equal. So despite common product claims, uh, many CBD products on the market don't contain actual CBD. Shocker. Um, some of them contain ingredients that are harmful to your health. And some of the products may not even be legal with what they contain. So when it comes to getting CBD, you want to do your homework before you use CBD. You need to know where it comes from because that matters, like big time, it matters. So um, <clears throat> CBD, if it is derived from hemp, is legal in the United States. Uh, there are federal laws that protect its use. Um, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals um, had a ruling which allowed hemp CBD and hemp CBD oil manufacturers to operate for years without interference. Um, but the passing of the Farm Bill in 2018, in late December, eliminated any confusion of hemp's CBD's uh, legal status. So that is why about two years ago, um, where you might have heard just a little bit about CBD here and there, about two years ago, we saw a huge surge across the board. Um, used to, uh, you would hear about CBD maybe online a little bit um, or hear about it maybe in other areas. And then all of a sudden you started seeing stores pop up everywhere for CBD and hemp. Um, you started seeing it in gas stations even, <laughs> and um, just everywhere. Started seeing hemp seeds too in grocery stores. I remember seeing that. Um, <clears throat> so that is why, um, because of the uh, 2018 Farm Bill. So uh, the farm bill, uh, the hemp provision in that farm bill allows hemp to be legally cultivated for any use, quote, it can be cultivated for any use. Um, and that includes the production and the extraction of CBD. It also means that you and I can legally buy and use CBD oil without a doctor's recommendation or without a prescription. It is not a controlled substance. So Nature's Ultra, which is the CBD company that Young Living has, um, Nature's Ultra is unlike any other CBD on the market today. Not only is it 100% free of any THC, remember that's the stuff you don't want in your CBD oil, um, it is 100% free of THC, but it is also derived from organically grown hemp, which is important. Hemp, um, when it grows in the ground, acts like a, um, it's a detoxifier for soil. <clears throat> so if it is grown in soil that has um, pesticides in it, if it has um, heavy metals, um, if it has any kind of chemicals like that in the soil at all, the hemp plant will soak that up. It is a great detoxifier. But if it soaks that up, guess what? That could get in the hemp product. It could get in the CBD oil. So um, Nature's Ultra uh, hemp is uh, organically grown um, and it is also grown and processed in the USA, which is also important. Um, Nature's Ultra is also gluten-free. It is vegan and is rigorously tested to ensure that it does not contain any harmful ingredients nor any THC. So, you can see the proof of this by scanning the QR code on every product label. So every um, CBD 
uh, Nature's Ultra CBD product has a QR code and you can scan that and it will give you all the information about what is in that bottle. So because of Nature's Ultra, um, their commitment to quality, it is the only CBD on the market to receive the prestigious seed to seal guarantee from Young Living. And we will share more information now about seed to seal, what that means. So as the world leader in essential oils, Young Living does not compromise on quality, ever. And never, ever, never. Seed to Seal and its three pillars, uh, sourcing, science, and standards, that is Young Living's commitment to unmatched quality. So Young Living provides the highest quality essential oils in the world and Nature's Ultra CBD benefits from these rigorous standards in two ways. Uh, the first way is that Nature's Ultra exclusively infuses their CBD products with seed to seal quality essential oils from Young Living. And two, to infuse Nature's Ultra CBD products with Young Living essential oils, they are required to also meet the seed to seal quality commitment with their CBD products as well. So our seed to seal oils do not go into anything that does not meet our seed to seal standards. So um, <clears throat> after the class, we'll be sharing some links on the event page, um, on the, uh, the boxes that are changing lives event page. Um, so we will share a link uh, for a YouTube video about the seed to seal story. And we're going to be sharing some other links um, with some great videos that go along with this class. So smart spectrum. This may be something you've heard about before. You may not have ever heard of it before. I'm gonna tell you all about it either way. <laughs> so in efforts to make a CBD product that is safe while also providing the highest effectiveness, Nature's Ultra and Young Living joined forces to develop a one of a kind CBD product. And this is known as Smart Spectrum. So in the CBD market, <clears throat> there are two main types of CBD available. Excuse me. <clears throat> so there is full spectrum and there is isolate. So knowing the difference between the two kinds of CBD is essential to understanding the value of our nature's ultra smart spectrum CBD. So full spectrum CBD is the whole plant product. So it contains everything that the cannabis plant includes. So that means that Full spectrum CBD contains CBD, but it also contains flavonoids, which are the natural fatty acids found in hemp. Um, it contains terpenes and it contains other cannabinoids, cannabinoids um, such as trace amounts of THC. All these naturally occurring elements create something that is called the entourage effect. So this is the effect of cannabinoids and terpenes working together in perfect synergy. So they balance each other out and they work better when they're both present. Um, so CBD isolate though, isolate is typically the CBD product of choice for those who are sensitive to um, other cannabinoids such as THC or for those who are concerned about the presence of THC in their product. Um, isolates are just that. They are CBD isolated from all other cannabinoids. So during the CBD isolate extraction process, everything else contained in the plant matter is removed. That includes any traces of THC, any terpenes, any waxes, any other oils, chlorophyll, e everything that's not CBD is removed. Uh, what's left is 99% or higher pure CBD. So when choosing an isolate, <clears throat> it is very imperative to verify purity. So there are lower purity options that may still have trace amounts of THC that will show up in lab tests. So this small percentage of THC is usually not a concern. Um, it usually doesn't have an effect on the body, so you won't get high on it, but it is always something to be aware of for those who may need to pass a drug test. For example, I work in healthcare. If I were to get injured on the job, um, I would have to go for a drug test. It's just mandatory. Um, so I have had a few coworkers um, who are on our oil team and use Nature's Ultra CBD, and um, they had gotten injured on the job two totally separate times, but had to go for drug testing. And so they texted me and was like, 
am I going to be okay? And I'm like, you're using just nature's ultra, right? <laughs> and they um, were like, yeah. I said, okay, you should be fine. Um, and they were zero THC in our CBD. And they passed their drug test with no problem. Um, so smart spectrum from nature's ultra and young living. It is organically grown hemp, organically grown cannabis um, that is extracted using a proprietary CO2 carbon dioxide extraction method. So um, this extraction method separates the CBD without the use of harsh chemicals, which is the typical method of CBD isolate extraction. Most companies, it's cheaper to use chemicals to extract the CBD. We don't do that. That does not meet our standards. So we produce a pure CBD isolate that is 0.000% THC. Nada, no THC in our CBD. The pure CBD isolate that we have is also paired with powerful young living therapeutic grade essential oils that are high in terpenes. So what that does, our terpenes from our essential oils help to restore the balance and that entourage effect that you get from the full spectrum CBD, but without any of the unwanted ingredients. So it has synergistic effects on the body with zero risks. So this is what makes our CBD truly one of a kind. So Young Living in July um, of 2019, on July 18th, 2019 actually, at convention last year, Young Living announced that they had fully acquired Nature's Ultra and we were able to welcome them into our Young Living family, which was so, so exciting. So it was a match made in health. You could say it was in heaven, but it was definitely in health. <laughs> so what this meant to me, um, before Young Living, um, before Young Living joined with Nature's Ultra, uh, people asked me, they knew I did essential oils and they had heard of CBD oil. So just naturally they said, well, is, is this, you know, does Young Living have CBD? And before July of last year, I had to say, no, we don't have CBD. And they would say, well, shouldn't you? But in my mind, I have such complete trust in Young Living in all of their products and their quality that my answer was basically, you know, if it's something that's worth having, Young Living will have it. So if they don't have it, there's a reason. And so when all of a sudden they announced that we were going to have CBD, I was like, okay, this means that this is something that I need to have. <laughs> it means there's some benefit to it and that it's good for us. And um, so that got me really curious. And so I started learning about it and learning about all these benefits that you all are learning tonight. And I was like, man, I'm so excited that we have this now in house um, within our own company. And I don't have to worry about the quality. I don't have to worry about anything that I don't want in my CBD don't have to worry about any side effects. And um, since then, um, at convention, I did buy a small bundle that came with a sampling of the CBD products. Let me tell you, they have just become must haves in our home. Like they are something that I do not run out of now. So let's talk about terpenes. So what are terpenes? Terpenes are good for you plant compounds that can boost your overall health. So if you have ever caught a whiff of citrus, of lavender or peppermint, you have smelled terpenes at work. You didn't even know it, did you? So terpenes are fragrant molecules that give plants, flowers, and trees their wide range of scents, from earthy to floral to citrusy. And it turns out they're also good for us. So when we inhale the scent of certain plant terpenes, they can be associated with a boost in emotional well-being. So the sweet floral scent of the terpene linalool, for instance, is found in lavender, and it has a calming, soothing effect. Limonene is a terpene that is found in citrus fruits and peppermint, and it has a mood elevating impact. While pinene is found in sage and in conifers, it has been shown to aid in alertness and memory retention. The, ter the terpene beta carotheline is found in basil, oregano, black pepper, and cannabis, and it has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and pain relieving benefits. So terpenes work with our endocannabinoid system to significantly influence our body's ability to maintain homeostasis, 
without producing any unwanted side effects. So like cannabis, essential oils are full of beneficial terpenes that can be added to CBD isolate, and this helps to magnify its ability to balance our mind and our body. So Brittany, I think it's back to you now. All right. Now we're going to talk about um, our three kinds of um, CBD that we have. So we have Nature's Ultra Cool Mint. It's available in the 500 mg and the 1000 mg strength. Um, it's paired with peppermint and spearmint for an uplifting uh, blend. And when applied to the skin, it provides a cooling sensation. Um, there's dosage and measurements on the glass bottle so you know um, the application and how easy it is to use. Um, currently, the FDA is required with Young Living and Nature Ultra, we have to put it for topical use. Um, I will say that there's organic stevia in there for um, to make it sweet. So in your home, you do you boo. Um, I will say that. Um, there's multiple ways to use our CBD. So um, for more information, we have a couple of different resources. Uh, Cody Lynn Callagher, um, she is a great, um, I believe she's Diamond um, in Young Living, and um, she wrote a book called The Plant-Based Wellness. And then we have uh, Dr. Ollie, um, and he wrote a book, and it's called The Power of CBD and Essential Oils, and um, that's another great resource. Um, so it has, and it tells you different ways to use our oil, or the CBD. Um, the concentration and application, um, again, are on there. Can you use it with kids? We do. Um, I have two that use it on a semi-regular basis. Um, Gregory definitely uses it more than Lincoln. Um, Gregory is almost 15 and he, we have not had him tested um, to be on the spectrum. We've had two doctors that have said that they believe he is. Um, I just won't go have the final test done um, because we have uh, tools in our toolbox that are working right now for us. Um, so, and CBD is one of them. Um, he uses it on a regular, like I said, semi-regular basis and see when he is consistently taking it, we see a huge difference in him. Um, he used, the kids came up with it, it nicknamed the Hulk. If he gets really angry, he goes into Hulk mode. And um, we have seen the outburst and the anger diminish when he is using CBD and some of the other oils. So, um, and Lincoln used to not sleep on a regular <laughs> full night um and when this came out i got it and we started it on him or him on it and um i was amazed at the the length of sleep 12 10 to 12 hours um at a time so um that was amazing for me <laughs> because he slept um CBD is non-intoxicating and shows no side effects. We've talked about that. So um, you have to decide if that's something you want to do is use it on your children. Um, I have a one-year-old, one and a half-year-old. Give me one second because she's screaming and I'm going to shut the door. Her cat's opened it. Um, but she is 18 months old and I do nurse her. 
and um, I do I do take it. Um, so again, it's breast milk has naturally shown to have some naturally occurring cannabinoid 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 <laughs> yes to have it in there and many pregnant and nursing mamas feel safe to use nature's ultra so um as with any supplement um you need to make sure that you do your research and you feel comfortable using that um but I, we can just share our testimony and what works for our family. And this is something that definitely works for our family. Um, so then we have, I think I did it too fast. Nope. We have, so that was the cinnamon and um, it has Young Living Cinnamon Essential Oil in it. <laughs> okay. Where'd you go? Are you guys there? <laughs> Thank you. We're here. <laughs> I lost you. Hold on. Okay. But anywho, so that's Reed and Lincoln. <laughs> um, so we also have the citrus, and um, the citrus has multiple different blends in it. Um, grapefruit and orange um, and we really this is our favorite so and I'm going to add that um, you mentioned that they're labeled for topical use uh -huh. but I'm going to tell you all they taste really good that's all I'm going <laughs> to say about that <laughs> I was they, surprised how good they taste when I first tried them <laughs> I agree so here's some more um, about the concentration and the application. Um, I will tell you that I believe it says um, when you're starting, <laughs> you can use up to, you know, start with like four drops is what um, I was told to use. And um, I know for me personally, four drops was not enough. Um, I actually, if I, when I take this, I take a full dropper of it um so and i i just see it the feeling um i feel more composed together um with a full dropper opposed to the four four little drops um so for topical it's great for skin muscles joints um it can also be paired with other um oils so if um you want to use your essential oils with your CBD, that's great. Um, <laughs> this has ingesting it if you want to do that. Um, I say topically on your tongue is a great way to get it. Take on a full stomach, there's that, and then sublingually. So you can look at that, take a picture, whatever. Why did that go so fast? Sorry, I'm clicking it, but obviously too hard. Um, Nutra Ultra's Muscle Rub. This was one of those things that um, was a must have try. And I'm gonna let my mom share this with you because, or just share a quick testimony about this um, because she's got a great one about my dad and brother. So, um my husband has um, arthritis in his knees, probably from his age. And, um, but our son who's 20, he just turned 27. And our daughter that's 23, all three of them have knee issues. So I'm thinking that it's kind of um, genetic. I know with Micah it is, his is from a birth defect his knees bow in or his bow out where naturally our tendons and stuff are supposed to hold them or they're supposed to come in and his automatically go out so jeff my husband micah my son and my daughter jordan 
they all three have some serious knee problems all the time with um, discomfort that's every day of their lives. And um, so I got that, the muscle rub for Jeff when we were at convention. And then we, um, we were in Utah and then we drove into Nevada and spent some time in um, Vegas and then flew home. And he, within three days, his pain was gone. And I'm telling you, he, it, it's every day of his life his knees hurt him and um, the same with my son and it's terrible because he's 20 like I said he's 27 years old and since he was able to talk he complained about how bad his knees hurt and he start I finally talked him into trying it because he's very skeptical because we're all in the health field too and he's like you know I have these drug tests and he was in the process of testing for um, different jobs. And on that note, I will tell you, he has had probably three drug tests in seven months for different um, fire departments, and he's passed every one of them. So just good news there, but none of them have pain. Now Jordan, our 23-year-old daughter with the knee problems, she's using it as well. And, and now that they've like built some up in their system they don't have to use it every day so but they did in the beginning but now they don't have to every day but if they go too long without it they say you know it hurts again but anyhow just a happy i'm happy for them to be out of pain all right so then we have the um calm roll on and this is in the 300 and the 600 um, strength as well. And it's great for um, just giving you that peaceful, relaxing um, environment. It's great to wind down. Um, if you have a stressful job, I know some people use this um, to help. Um, <laughs> Krista, <laughs> she's saying, yes, me. Um, you know, and uh, so, it's great for sleeping. It's great for um, if you just can't get rid of the um, daily stress of whatever you're going through. Um, and this has quite a few amazing oils in it. Um, you will want to check that out as well. Um, give me one quick second. So, um, this that uh, I was re trying to read, but this says it's perfect for in the go, put it on your per put it in your purse and take it with you. Um, it's easy, compact, and um, you never know when you're going to need a little bit of help just dealing with our everyday life. Um, so, Krista, do you have a testimony about that? Um, yeah, I do. Um... I, so this is one that, because it is so convenient to carry with me, um, it is often in my pocket at work. It's in my scrub pocket. Um, and I rub it on myself if I feel myself getting too, you know, stressed or wound up. But I'm also um, very liberal with sharing it with my coworkers mm -hmm. who seem to need it. Um, I work in the hospital and things can get pretty intense there sometimes and um, I can think of at least one episode where a nurse that I am good friends with um, was having a really hard afternoon and I mean really like very stressed um, feelings of anxiousness um, and uh, so one of the other nurses saw me coming down the hall and asked me if I had any oils with me and I'm like girl you know, I do. <laughs> so she told me what was going on. So um, of course I pulled out my calm roller and uh, went and, um, you know, handed it over and let, let him put it on. Um, he just put it on his wrist. I said, okay, now smell your wrist, you know, smell his oil. And um, a few minutes later, like I, you know, kind of let him have that time to settle down. And um, so I went and saw a patient and came back. Whenever I came back, he just kept talking about how he could not believe how much that helped him, um, just eased his 
feelings that he was having and helped him to just feel, you know, more calm and like things were not going out of control. And um, he ended up becoming a member uh, a few weeks later. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, that's why I keep it with me at work. I, it's, it's for me and it's for my coworkers because we're all in it together. Um, so now I think I'm going to share, speaking of people becoming members, how to get started with CBD. <laughs> so um, if you are already a Young Living member, good for you, best decision ever, right? Um, so if you're already a Young Living member, you can start receiving your discount on CBD uh, just by ordering um, on your account. So we um, can get CBD products on the regular shop orders um, and we can get it on essential rewards now. That started in February of this year. Um, so simply log into your Young Living virtual office and add your CBD that you want to your order. Um, if you have any questions about this, if you're not sure how, just contact me or Brittany or Corky. We are happy to help. Um, so now if you're not yet a Young Living member, uh, you can start saving today by becoming a member with one of our brand new CBD starter kits. So right now, the starter kit is only available to new members just to preserve the stock that we have for you. But this is your, this is your chance to save big, like really big. Um, so the CBD starter kit, it comes in a regular strength um, and an extra strength option. So the regular strength uh, starter kit is a good fit for those who are brand new to CBD um, with it comes with three CBD products so it comes with the calm roller the 300 milligram uh, which is what I carry with me at work um, it comes with the CBD muscle rub in the 300 milligram and the citrus CBD oil the 500 milligram and what those milligrams mean that is how much CBD that whole container has um, so if you were to measure out all the CBD in that dropper bottle with the citrus. Um, if it says 500 milligrams, there's 500 milligrams in that whole bottle. And like Brittany said, the droppers have little measured markings on them. So you can see how much you're getting per drop or per dose. Um, so you can just pull up how much ever you want and use it. So um, everything that you need to get started successfully with CBD is in this kit and it is only 165. Like that is about half off almost of if you were to get all of these products separately, especially at retail prices. Um, so this kit, it has a variety of ways for you to experience CBD and to start incorporating it into your lifestyle. And it also has a brochure about getting started with CBD to kind of help answer your questions. Um, the CBD Extra Strength Starter Kit is a good choice for those who have some more experience with CBD or who just prefer a higher CBD milligram content. So this kit contains the same three products, but with twice the amount of CBD in each product. So that means that instead of having uh, 300 milligrams in the muscle joint and muscle balm and in the calm roller, the extra strength has 600. So just double the amount of CBD. That's why it's extra strength. Um, and the same with the, um, the dropper, uh, the, the citrus, um, it has 1000 milligrams in the extra strength kit instead of 500. Um, so the extra strength starter kit is $250, $250, um, and that is because it has twice the CBD, but it also has the savings uh, that you're getting, and it also comes with the getting started with CBD brochure. So if, again, if you're not yet a Young Living member and you want to order one of these starter kits, talk to the person who invited you to this class, who shared this class with you. They will be happy to give you the hookup, and if you're not sure who that is, contact one of us, me or Brittany or Corky, and we'll help connect you with that person. Um, so once you order your kit, definitely reach out to one of us or reach out to the friend that shared with you, and we will get you plugged into our wellness community online and to help you get set up with other resources to support you on your wellness journey. And that is my part. <laughs> Corky, is this you or is this me? Oh, sorry, it's me. <laughs> You're using some of that calm roller. You're just all relaxed. <laughs> um, honestly, I did take a dropper full of the cinnamon right before we went on. So I am pretty chill right now. So 
I just want to thank everybody, or we want to thank everybody for um, joining us tonight. And um, there's lots to learn about CBD, but um, I hope that if I hope you walk away learning something that you didn't already know or having some questions. And like um, Krista said, um, just reach out to whoever invited you um, to this class and we are happy to give you more information if you need it. Um, but, and if you have questions too, cause you may have a question about something or getting started with um, trying the oil, you know, CBD oil and just let us know. So, and these two books are the books that Brittany mentioned uh, earlier. I don't know if you can find um, them on Amazon or not, but where you can get them is up there. So, and um, the, the CBD plant-based wellness book is just real short and concise. And if you're on my team, I do loan it to members. So uh, this is more scientific and more in depth. So yeah. I think the plant-based wellness one is like the Cliff Notes version. It's still yes. very informative. Yes. Yes. But it doesn't go into near the detail of this one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. So again, thanks for coming. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. And I think um, since we've recorded this, we will, um, are we going to upload it? Do you want to upload it to YouTube after this, Brittany, and have the link available for people to view or to share with their friends? Like I can upload it for you. Yeah. You yeah. We'll, do, we'll do something. We'll okay. comment it and, or put it in our group or whatever. So. Yeah. So we'll share that with you all after we figure it out. I don't know what I did. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.